Hi everyone, welcome back to the specialist area paediatrics. Um, today's presentation will be on breast and formula milk and circumstances in which formula milk may be used. Um, it's a slightly different layout to normal but it's a really important topic and it's pretty much the basis for paediatrics and development and feeding so it's good to know. So first of all a few questions. The first one is which antibody is present in breast milk? So is IgE, IgA, IgG or IgM? So if you just refresh your memory about which one does what and have a little think. So it's IgA. IgA is present in milk, tears and nasal, respiratory and gastrointestinal secretions. Let's just refresh what the other ones do. So IgE is involved in type 1 hypersensitivity reactions. In non-atopic people, it is the least abundant in the blood plasma. IgG is the most abundant immunoglobulin and is released by B cells in humoral immunity. And IgM is the biggest immunoglobulin and that is the first to appear in response to antigen exposure. So if you just think that IgA is present in a lot of secretions basically. So next question, breast milk may be deficient in which vitamin? So quite a big clue is have a think about which vitamin the mother may be deficient in, especially in this country. So it's vitamin D. This is really important because if the mother is deficient in it, which is quite common, breast milk babies may need vitamin D supplements because of the risk of rickets. And this is one of the benefits of formula milk because it contains vitamin D supplements already. Um, also, another side note, vitamin A is abundant in colostrum and colostrum is something I'll explain a bit more about later. Final question. Which hormone hormones are involved in breast milk production? Prolactin, oxytocin, estrogen and progesterone, or prolactin and oxytocin. So if you think of the hormones that are present after birth and what each of their role is in pregnancy and how they may be related to breast milk production. So it's prolactin and oxytocin. So let's just explain a little bit more about that. So prolactin and oxytocin production is stimulated by a baby latching on to the nipple. Prolactin's role is to produce the milk helpful to remember prolactin produce that's quite handy oxytocin is the hormone that helps with the ejection of the milk also termed the milk ejection reflex or the letdown oxytocin is also involved in helping the uterus contract which i'll go into a bit later this helps with reducing the risk of postpartum hemorrhage and it plays an important role in mother baby bonding and is a powerful antidepressant and is linked to a lower risk of postpartum depression. So loads of benefits and prolactin also inhibits ovulation. So as you can see there are lots of benefits why producing breast milk and having these hormones in your bloodstream will be really good for the mother and the baby. Okay so this is how it's gonna run. I've changed the layout a little bit because it's slightly different going through two things and the OSCE and communication tips bit will be brief. So first of all, what is breast milk? So it's produced by the mammary glands. It's stimulated by hormones prolactin and oxytocin, as we've just gone through. It's the primary source of nutrition in the baby's first six months. And note that after these six months, the baby is weaned onto soft foods. The milk can also be pumped and fed to the baby in a bottle, so just bear this in mind. Wet nursing is when milk is produced by a woman that is not the baby's mother um, and it's very common and it can be formal or through a milk bank. It also has low insulin and higher leptin levels. This is compared to formula milk and it's seen as better. It also, which is like the main benefit, contains loads of IgA antibodies and lymphocytes and these stay high in the breast milk until around seven months. Breast milk also contains around 600 different species of bacteria. So as you can imagine, it is essential for building up the baby's immune system. 
so a little bit about colostrum. Colostrum is the initial production of milk from the mammary glands. What I mean by initial production is that it's produced in the first few days after delivery and it's the most essential milk for the baby. So it's really important as soon as delivery occurs that the mother starts breastfeeding. It's thin, watery and sweet tasting. After the first few days, it goes from this consistency to a thicker and creamier milk. It helps coat the GI tract, which is really important. And this is the bit that's really high in the IgA antibodies, which is really important for the baby. It also has a mild laxative effect. And this is really important because it reduces the risk of neonatal jaundice because it expels meconium and prevents buildup of bilirubin. So formula milk, as you can see, there are so many different types. Um, however, they can never really measure up to breast milk because of the presence of individualized antibodies and lymphocytes in breast milk, which you just can't get in formula milk. However, we did say that it contains vitamin D supplements, which can be useful, especially in the UK. Um, and there are so many different types. So cow's milk formula, um, hydrolyzed, soy protein based and specialized. Specialised, it can be used for premature infants. Um, also note that plain or untreated cow's milk, like from the fridge, that's not a formula, it's unsuitable for infants um, because this is because the GI tract is not mature enough and it may result in diarrhoea and malnutrition. So either you breastfeed or you have the powdered formula milk. Oh. So this table, you probably won't have to learn it in detail, but if you just pause the video and have a little look over, it's essentially a really good way of seeing how breast milk and formula milk are different. And you can also see that breast milk contains lots of other compounds from the body. Um, formula milk can be hydrolyzed or soy protein based. Soy protein base is useful for vegan mothers as well, um, something to bear in mind. Um, and also hydrolyzed, um, as we're going to next, is good for infants that are allergic or intolerant to cow's milk protein. So just pause this video and have a little look over. So why breast is best? So some benefits for the baby first. It decreases the risk of so many different diseases and conditions. SIDS standing for Sudden Infant Death Syndrome and it also increases intelligence and cold and flu resistance. Some benefits for the mother as well. So as I mentioned before, the oxytocin going around the bloodstream helps the uterus contract back to pre-pregnancy size and reduces the risk of postpartum hemorrhage. It also decreases the risk of breast cancer and diabetes. So as you can see, there are so many reasons why doctors should be recommending using breast milk and in the least judgmental way possible asking why the mother has chosen to use formula because there are so many reasons why the mum may use formula which we will go on to next so, reasons why the mum may be using formula milk this may be because the mother can't produce enough milk so it's rare but it could causes could include an improper latch or the mum not nursing or pumping enough maybe due to dehydration um, also, the combined oral contraceptive pill containing estrogen can mean that the mum doesn't produce enough. Or, it's a bit niche, but useful to mention, Sheehan syndrome. Uh, this is postpartum hyperpituitarism resulting in a prolactin deficiency. Um, and they may need supplements and recommend using formula milk. Also, the mother's health. If they have HIV or TB, breastfeeding is not recommended. Um, the baby might be at risk of malnutrition, there may be socio-economic pressures. So these include the family just encouraging the use of formula. It may be something that, that they've always done or if maternity leave is insufficient and they can't, um, they don't have the time to breastfeed. Um, and personal preference as well. This could include inconvenience, which is completely understandable or something to be aware of. The mother may have been a victim of sexual abuse and breastfeeding may trigger PTSD. Also, um, something that's really important is if the mother isn't there. So the child may have been adopted or adopted by a same-sex couple 
orphaned or abandoned or the father may have sole custody. Other more medical reasons why we use formula milk and recommend it is if the infant is intolerant to cow's milk protein. So you would recommend using hydrolyzed formula milk. What hydrolyzed formula milk is, is it's when the baby can't digest the large cow's milk protein. Protein is broken down into amino acids. Um, also, if the infant is allergic to cow's milk protein, this presents slightly differently to the intolerance. So with an allergy, it's IgE mediated, whereas the intolerance is non-IgE mediated. So intolerance symptoms are more subtle, such as loose stools, weight gain issues, constipation, gourd, whereas the allergy symptoms are more sudden. So you could get angioedema, vomiting, or in extreme cases, it could cause anaphylactis. Also, if the infant is lactose intolerant or allergic to lactose, which is pretty rare, but they would want need to be on soy protein based formula milk. Um, there is another video coming on specific investigations and management of cow's milk protein allergy and intolerance and lactose intolerance, so I won't get too much detail about that. So just some OSCE and communication tips. I'll keep it brief because it's relevant in a few, but not all. So this one is really important to mention it. So you'd want to ask if the infant was breastfed or formula fed, volume and frequency, um, their reasons for being on formula if they are, and then any other symptoms. And also maybe a breast lump history and examination, be useful to mention. Okay, so let's go over these questions again and see how much you've learned. Which antibody is present in breast milk? IgE, A, G, or M? So it's IgA. So just going over again, IgE is type 1 hypersensitivity reactions. A is secretions, G is humoral immunity from the B cells, and M is the first responder to antigen exposure. Okay, question two. Breast milk may be deficient in which vitamin? So it's vitamin D. Breast milk is beneficial in so many ways, however, they may need supplements, um, and formula milk does contain supplements already. And finally, which hormones are involved in the production of breast milk? So prolactin produces the milk, oxytocin ejects the milk. Oxytocin also reduces the risk of postpartum depression and postpartum hemorrhage. Okay, that's it. I hope you found that really useful um, and thank you for watching.